As an operator of a large vehicle that hauls cargo, equipment, and goods for Ansem Call, it is your responsibility to be mentally prepared and fit for work. Ensure all of your equipment is safe to operate, is in good working condition, and you must follow Ansem Call's site health, safety, and environmental rules at all times. No matter how simple or routine the job may seem, concentration is the key. If you give the task your full attention, you are much less likely to make a mistake and cause an accident. This video outlines the requirements to haul goods equipment at Ansem McCall. We wish you to have a safe and productive work experience while hauling Ansem McCall's goods and equipment. Ansem McCall's Compound Requirements Upon entry to any of Ansem McCall's compounds, you must check in with security and follow all instructions of the security officer. You must present the proper documentation upon entry to Ansem McCall's sites. You may be asked to present your truck and trailer inspection checklist. You are not permitted to block access or egress points. Do not park on the muster point area. Do not leave your truck idling while you are on a break or waiting to load or offload as the fumes pose a hazard to anyone in close proximity. You may be requested to present your driver's permit and insurance if asked by an HSC representative or any other Ansem McCall rep. The required personal protective equipment on Ansem McCall's compounds are as follows. Reflective vest, helmet if required, safety shoes, safety glasses, standby chemical respirator, proper attire, clothing, no torn clothing. All PPE must meet the required ANSI standard. All drivers must have valid driver's license, extra heavy, valid and without signs of tampering, inspection and insurance, certificates, valid and without signs of tampering, no port accidents, certificate of character, trailer insurance, truck insurance, demerit points, active, strictly only certified defensive drivers are permitted on Ansel McCall's compounds. You must know the final destination of your goods and you must obey the compound speed limit at all times. Substance abuse policy. The use of illegal drugs and alcohol are strictly not allowed. Drugs and alcohol can alter your state of mind and ability to focus on what you're doing and are not permitted on any of Ansel McCall's compounds. Remember, some drugs stay in your system for a long time and can be detected in a random drug test, even months after you consume the drug. Do not come to work intoxicated under the influence of any drug or alcohol. The use of marijuana on our premises is strictly prohibited. Ansem McCall conducts periodic drug and alcohol testing, as well as with cause and post-accident testing. If you are prescribed medication or under the influence of any medication that makes you drowsy, report immediately to your supervisor. No sexual harassment. Ansem McCall is committed to providing a safe environment for all its employees, free from discrimination on any ground and from harassment at work, including sexual harassment. Ansem McCall operates a zero tolerance policy for any form of sexual harassment in the workplace. We treat all incidents seriously and promptly investigate all allegations of sexual harassment. Any person found to have sexually harassed another will face disciplinary action up to and including dismissal from employment. All complaints of sexual harassment will be taken seriously and treated with respect and, and incompetence. No one will be victimized for making such a complaint. Site-specific hazards. It is your responsibility to be paying close attention to your job and to avoid hazards at all times. Prevention is the key. Ansem McCall's sites have many hazards associated with our operations. For example, forklifts, other vehicles, and pedestrians. Always give the right of way to pedestrians on designated walkways. Never block any walkways by parking over them or placing storing material on the designated walkway. You must eliminate all distractions while at work, including not using your personal electronic devices like your cell phone. Cell phones are not allowed to be used while shifting or moving loads. Do not use your cell phone while driving on our compound. Reporting accidents. An accident is an unplanned event that causes an injury, property damage, or environmental harm. Should you have an accident or are a witness to an accident, you must report it to your supervisor immediately. Accidents and incidents must be reported immediately to your supervisor and the Ansem McCall representative immediately. All accidents must be investigated so we can determine the root cause and make recommendations on how to prevent a reoccurrence in the future. All operators of trucks must have good working vehicles to enter Ansem McCall's compounds. All trucks must have a recent truck checklist conducted that indicates good working conditions of all the tires, all lights, the horn, spark arrestor, the diesel tank straps must be in good condition. Trucks must not have any cracks in their windscreen. The brakes must be in good working condition with working airbags and a working reverse buzzer that is loud and not tweeting. Also, you must ensure your load must be secure and weight evenly distributed. No defective trailer legs are allowed on site. All general cargo fully secured, chains and binders, fabric straps present and firmly securing cargo. 
Container must be locked. Don't park on inclines or declines. Look out for missing bolts, damaged gear, no brace, damaged footing. Do not drop your trailers too low. Under no circumstance are trailer legs to be drug on the ground during shifting. You must ensure your fifth wheel does not have cracks, damaged or missing bolts, damaged or missing pins. It must be properly lubricated and the chassis must be in good working order free from rust or rot. All trucks must have a basic first aid kit and a 10 pound dry chemical fire extinguisher. All containers must be fully secured, all locking pins secured. If you are dropping off a load, you must ensure the trailer legs are properly secured. The trailer is level and on secure ground. You must ensure your trailer is at the desired safe height and legs must be secured at all times. A secure level trailer is less likely to tip over. Maintenance repairs. If the haulage company is required to conduct any maintenance work while on Ansem McCall's compounds, the maintenance personnel must comply with these rules. All repairs maintenance work must have a permit outlining the requirements of the job and must be signed off by an Ansem McCall HSE representative. There may be requirement to have a risk assessment or a job safety analysis prior to the start of the repairs. All technicians, mechanics, tire personnel must have site-specific compound orientation prior to the start of repairs or maintenance work. Must be in full PPE, gloves, glasses, safety boots, and uniform. No illegal drugs or alcohol is permitted. Maintenance personnel must have a TTPS certificate of character within the last six months. All vehicles entering Ansem McCall compound are to be inspected prior to entry. You must notify relevant persons before repairs and communicate the failures and close out all jobs. For wheel repairs, ensure to double check tightening. No faulty airlines, jacks, jack stands, no makeshift chucks, no makeshift tools will be permitted on our compounds. All trucks must have a working reverse buzzer that is loud and not tweedy. Cargo container security procedures. These procedures must verify the physical integrity of the cargo container structure prior to loading, including the reliability of the locking mechanism of the door. The purpose of this code of practice is to define the safety and security checks that are necessary for the safe and secure transport of Ansem McCall's products in containers. These checks will ensure that containers used to transport Ansem McCall's products are fit for purpose and can be loaded safely, ensure compliance with the IMDG code, ensure that containers used to transport Ansem McCall's products are not used to smuggle illegal contraband, ensure that containers carrying Ansem McCall's products are protected against tampering, protect Ansem McCall's registrations under CTPAT and similar approved economic operator schemes, Membership of these schemes gives the Ansem McCall shipments preferential status when passing through customs, which reduces the administrative burden and helps ensure a reliable supply chain. Enable intervention where the transport does not comply with these regulations or where it puts safety, security, or the environment at risk. Containers intended to carry Ansem McCall's goods must be inspected before they are loaded. Containers must be sealed with high security seals. The seven point inspection process for empty containers as well as eight point inspection for empty refrigerated containers should be followed prior to the loading of cargo. Empty containers and unit load devices, ULDs, are subject to a seven point inspection. Empty refrigerator containers and ULDs are subject to an eight point inspection. Front wall, left side, right side, floor, ceiling, roof, inside, outside doors, including the reliability of the locking mechanism of the door, outside undercarriage, fan housing on refrigerated containers. Additionally, the sealing of trailers and containers to include continuous seal integrity are crucial elements of a secure supply chain. We wish to strongly convey to you, our business partners, that seals used to secure loaded containers and trailers bound for the U.S. must meet or exceed the current PASS ISO 17712 standards for high security seals. Number one, front wall. Check that blocks and vents are visible. Check that there are no holes or cracks in the wall. Use a tool to tap the side walls. Check for hollow metal sounds. Check that the dimensions of the container are correct. If dimensions are less than expected, this could indicate a hidden compartment. If in doubt, use a range finder, measuring tape, or string to measure. Check that there are no sharp edges or protrusions that could damage the cargo. Two and three, right and left sides. Check for unusual repairs or structural beams. Check that there are no holes or cracks in the walls. Check that repairs in the inside of the container are visible on the outside. Repairs visible only on the inside could indicate a hidden compartment. Use a tool to tap the side walls. Check for hollow metal sound. Check that there are no sharp edges or protrusions that could damage the cargo. Four, the floor of the container. Check for an unusual repairs. Check that the floors are flat. There should be no steps in the floor. Check that the floor is not damaged. There should be no protrusions such as nails that could damage the cargo. 
check that the height of the container is correct. If the height is less than expected, this could indicate a hidden compartment. If in doubt, use a range finder, measuring tape, or string to measure. Number five, ceiling, roofs. Check for unusual repairs to structural beams. Check that there are no holes or cracks in the walls. Check that the repairs to the inside of the container are visible on the outside. Repairs visibly only on the inside could indicate a hidden compartment. Use a tool to tap the side walls. Check for hollow metal sound. Six, inside outside doors. Check that locking bars and mechanisms are intact, in good working order, are not damaged and cannot be easily removed or tampered with. Check especially for loose bolts, plates or repairs or different colored bonding materials. Check that door seal completely when closed. Stand inside and look for light around the door. Check that the ribs on the inside of the door are visible. Solid plates should not cover standard container cavity. 7. Outside, undercarriage. Check that support beams are undamaged. Solid plates should not cover the beams. All containers must comply with the International Convention for Safe Containers, CSC. Check that the next test date marked on the CSC plate has not been exceeded or check that the CSC plate contains registration information for approved continuous examination program, the ACEP. General inspecting four, check that the inside of the container is dry and free from condensation. Condensation on the walls may stop tie guard from sticking correctly. Large amounts of condensation may leak from the containers and give the impression that the cargo is leaking. Check that all labels from the previous load have been removed. If any are present, they must be removed. Check that the inside of the container is clean, free from cargo residual, and has no persistent odor. That brings us to the end of Ansel McCall's haulage safety orientation. Let's review. Being mentally prepared for your work at all times with your mind focused on your job is important. Concentrate, stay alert, and be aware your first priority should be on your job with accident prevention a main focus. Always be alert to potential hazards. Ansel McCall expects you to work safely at all times and follow our site-specific health, safety, and environmental rules. We look forward to working with you safely and productively.